daughter's in preschool. Her name is Willow. She's three. Um, and every every Tuesday, they get a book from the library, and they have to return it the next Thursday. Today's Wednesday, so I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to show you this before um, before it has to go back, right? Because I don't want it to be late. I um, want to be responsible here. So... Um, I think that's the point of the library book, to teach responsibility. And responsibility is a really important thing. We have to learn even in recovery, right? To be responsible for ourselves and what we say and what we do and our self-care and all that. Anyway, so this book is about a woman who feels like she's heavy and she's an elephant. And so she goes on a diet and she does all these drastic things to do this diet and to force her family to do it. And, and then they receive a cake in the mail from, from grandma. And they put it up on the top shelf so no one will get it. And then Mrs. Large is just up all night thinking about this cake and she can't do anything. So she just goes downstairs to get, get a piece of cake. And what does she find? She finds one piece of cake left and the rest of her family hiding underneath the table. Um, you know, and you know they might think this is a cute little story about eating healthy and things like that. But I don't think it's cute. I think this is serious. I mean, this paints a beautiful picture of addiction, you know, and the mental obsession, the compulsion to use, the knowing better and not being able to pull the trigger on doing better, right? And I think that diet mentality is a really, really big problem. It's pervasive in our society. It's something that we have to start to break down and dismantle. And it runs deep, and we see it in our community all the time. We're really attacking it in layers and layers and layers, you know, because it really is, it's pervasive. It's controlling. It's vicious. So, you know, this story is cute, right, on one level. And on another level, it's jarring. It's reality. This is how people struggle. And they, and they just try and try and try to control, 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 control. And no matter what kind of confines they put on themselves, they end up breaking all of those rules. And that's what happens in, in addiction. You know, and, and with the substance or without the substance, it, it can create a very disruptive life. Um, so I wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you a little bit about diet mentality. Um, you know, to bring it to light. And to start to think about it, like when you're having these thoughts running through your head, can you say like, this is an old thought that doesn't serve me anymore? And can you just even for a minute, just for a moment, just set it aside and say, you know, just for right now, I'm going to table this idea and I'm not going to proceed with it. I'm going to proceed with what's best for me right now. Diet mentality is destructive, it's disruptive, it's violent, it annihilates us, it limits our ability to take care of ourselves, and that's what recovery is about. It's about taking care of yourself. So thank you for indulging me in A Piece of Cake by Jill Murphy, which for all extensive purposes is a nice little book. But I think its message is harmful to food addicts and other people with a disease of addiction. And it is disease, and you can recover. You can break away from diet mentality. You can learn to think and act differently. But it's going to take a little bit of work. But we're here to help.